Hey guys, Collar here, bringing you another English commentary, and this time I'm bringing you another commentary of Boxer versus a hapless Zerg player, and uh, the play against this Zerg player that Boxer does made it onto the Pimpus playlist in 2002, just like the last video, uh, the Nuke Rush video, which I just did, um, between him and a Protoss player. So I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying these Pimpus play videos. I've gotten a lot of requests for Boxer videos, of course, and uh, I thought that in between my doing um, uh, some more recent games and, and while I have some time right now I'll just do a couple of these short games see how you guys like them. Uh, in any case this game um, I'm not sure what the details are uh, to be honest um, it's just a game that was played among pros a long time ago in 2002 in fact it's so old I actually had to download a new executable file just to play this replay correctly. In any case Boxer spawning here in yellow at the 6 o'clock position um, a player named War3 spawning in purple at the 9 o'clock and this map of course is Lost Temple um, Lost Temple, Zerg players, uh, I assume back in 2002, as they do today, uh, usually go for a fast expand at their natural expansion. It's fairly easy to hold, especially this position. Um, I guess the 12 o'clock is the only one that's a little more difficult to hold. Uh, so I'll be expecting him, not knowing anything else, to be going for a fast expand here against a Terran player. Of course, Boxer could be doing anything. You can't really rely on him doing anything specific. It looks like he is getting a supply depot right next to his command center, which leads me to think he's going to go for a uh, early 2 racks build, or, or perhaps even more barracks build, because because um, he's not choosing the wall and he's probably not going to go for any kind of tech build and uh, maybe he'll go for a fast expand but that's really not boxer style so I won't be expecting it. Um, of course this game does have boxer pulling out something quite amazing on his opponent. It is uh, a very unique rush which uh, I really haven't seen in any other, <laughs> in other, any other game. That's why boxer is of course so unique and, and well known for his game gamesmanship. Um, looks like boxer building his barracks here now. Uh, looks like he's building it on 10. It's pretty standard. And looks like the opponent is um, Looks like he's actually going for a uh, a ten hatchery here, um, so he went and uh, now he's sending a drone out. So he's going for an early second hatchery, uh, a little bit earlier than the twelve hatchery build, and um, this means this means to me that he'll he'll most likely be going for just a two hatchery build into tech, um, or or perhaps that he's just scared a boxer, which is kind of possible too. I mean, it is somewhat justifiable considering how often Boxer does like to do a, a really crack, quick rush, so perhaps he's wanting to get a spawning pull up and get some Zerglings up a little bit earlier um, with his expansion build. Looks like he's bringing a drone to scout. Uh, scouting would be really important here, and uh, he's going to see Boxer building two racks here in his base. Boxer um, chasing this uh, drone around with his SCV here, and looks like he's going to get a refinery, so looks like he's gonna, going for a standard sort of uh, academy build off of two racks here. And we'll see where where he chases his drone. Uh, looks like spawning pool going up for War Three here, and looks like the first marine is out for Boxer, and uh, Boxer now chasing the drone around with a marine and an SCV. He really needs to take care of this drone if he's going to pull off something uh, cheesy. And we'll see what he does. Uh, looks like he's about to shoot this drone. Um, he's getting some hits off of it. And looks like uh, War 3 just transferring a couple drones, anticipating for the uh, second hatchery to, to fully morph. And looks like Boxer has managed to uh, chase away these drones. And looks like Boxer actually canceled his second racks here. So, at, in actuality, um, this player managed to see that. So he's he's got to suspect something is going on for Boxer here, uh, considering Boxer did cancel his second barracks for some reason. And now Boxer going for an academy. Perhaps the... Uh, Perhaps the opponent thinks that Boxer isn't going to go for any kind of rush now, and perhaps Boxer wants to uh, just get his tech up a little quicker, or perhaps go for a fast expand. Actually, I would, uh, perhaps the uh, Zerg player in this position might think that Boxer is going for a fast expand now, and not going for a rush. In any case, uh, the Zerg opponent is now building his lair, and looks like Boxer is going to be building some extra barracks, three barracks here, on the edge of his base, on the cliff. And uh, we'll see what Boxer does with these. It's quite amusing what he does with these, I have to say. Um, Boxer is about to finish his academy here, and he's going for four racks here. This is really an all-in uh, Medic Marine build here. And normally, you wouldn't even see four racks, so this has got to be something quite innovative here to, to justify going four racks off of one base, and we'll see what it is very shortly. Because even if you're going to go for... Um, a normal medic marine push. Uh, three racks is really what you would expect at this point at most. Four racks is quite excessive and uh, it, it does lead to something quite interesting, I promise you. Um, now uh, two Zerglings out just for the uh, Zerg opponent. Looks like he's going to rely on the sunken colony in the front to provide some early defense. He's uh, he's focusing on getting his tech up. Of course he's going to be economically a little bit slow because he did go for an early two hatchery build. Uh, regardless, um, looks like he's just a uh, probably going for Mulisks. And Boxer has lifted his barracks, guys. This is Boxer's Pimpus Play moment. This is the multi-racks 
drop here. The multi racks float, and and this player has no idea what's going to hit him here. It looks like though, uh, Boxer will this uh, this Overlord will intercept Boxer's racks float here, and Boxer is going to go for it though. Um, looks like the Overlord is seeing it. We'll see what this player does. He's going to he's going to morph some Zerglings here. And Boxer now landing his barracks. He does have an academy up, and let's see. Uh, I think Stimpak is fully researched now. Boxer producing fire bats out of all four barracks inside of the opponent's base, and the opponent is now putting up two creep colonies, desperately trying to protect against this. He's got a spire uh, morphing here, but it's not going to be in time for to deal with this in initial rush. And Boxer only has three uh, two Marines in his base here, but the opponent critically does not have any Zerglings. Uh, the opponent really now boxer's going in for an attack with the firebats uh, he stemmed the firebats he's gonna be trying to take down this one sunken colony here um looks like uh the opponent trying to bring just has one zergling here uh it looks like three zerglings total uh one of the sunken is up but boxer's forced to retreat here but boxer now has uh created a bunch of medics to go with this group and boxer is probably going to be able to go in for the attack very soon again to finish off these two sunkens and the, uh, the opponent's critical mistake i think well, other than lack of scouting was really he didn't have any zerglings to to exploit boxer's uh all in rush here because if he had just maybe eight or ten zerglings who would be able to stream into Boxer's base a Boxer would have been able to produce nothing to deal with it now Boxer going for the all in attack here um, he's got his firebacks in a great position he's got a good corral here now uh, he's going to be attacking the second sunken colony Boxer with uh, four, three uh, three firebats four marines and two medics still alive takes down the second sunken colony looks like he's going to take down this sunken colony before it even fully morphs and now the player's in huge trouble War 3 transferring his drones, but I think this is too late. He's going to be sustaining massive damage here. He's going to lose all of his buildings in his main uh, spawning pool and hatchery. And GG from the Zerg players. So Boxer pulling off another amazing Pimpus play. Uh, going for the, and looks like the Mutalus was just about to morph, going for the multi uh float, um, exploiting the positions here in this map. And I hope you guys enjoy this game. Uh, please stay tuned for my continuing um, broadcast of recent games tomorrow. I'll be doing uh, many games tomorrow. Um, two teams are playing each other in the Pro League. Uh, Air Force Ace versus, uh, I think it's Estro or STX Soul. I'm not sure which one it is. In any case, Boxer will be playing. Of course, this will be uh, airing tonight, so this is a, a very recent Boxer. And also, um, some games from the ODT will be playing tomorrow. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, please stay tuned and check out some of my videos tomorrow. Thanks for watching.